Hey guys, welcome to the 30 Paintings in 30 Days project. Right, if you so. choose to join me on the 30 Paintings in 30 Days journey, I hope that you do share and tag me in posts like on social media and stuff. Maybe film some videos, tag me in the description, something like that. Um, I am um, kind of excited about the project. I do do daily drawing. I don't necessarily do daily painting, but making a daily practice out of something like this encourages you to... Um, get better at it, um, encourages you to work it into your daily routine or weekly routine. Um, it also is a way to use up supplies. So if that's your goal, uh, maybe you don't want to do 30 paintings in 30 days, but you want to do 30 collages in 30 days. So that works too. So let me know. Let's get to painting and I'll see you at the end. All right, you guys, painting number 28. What are we going to paint? I ain't got a clue. Let me figure it out and I'll be right back. All right. So we are going to, I think, paint um, a water lily. I'm gonna use my, again, my big flat brush. My water's getting really dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that magenta that we've been using again in the Schminky palette, which is a pretty color to start with. And I'm going to, I've got, I do have an inspiration photo. So I'm going to sort of, again, we're gonna just roughly map out our shapes. you know, keep in mind again, as you're painting, you're like probably thinking if you're like me, ew, that's ugly, what am I doing? Stop, just stop. Even if it does turn out to be ugly, at least you're trying and you're having fun and you're being creative and it's all good. So I'm just painting impressions of the shapes that I see on the, um, inspiration photo and then I'm going to clean my brush off. I'm going to grab some of one of our whites and mix it with some of that magenta. That is not enough white. There we go. And I'm going to add that. I'm going to switch to a round brush. I think I'll have a little more control. I'm going to go in with Matter Red Dark. I almost grabbed the wrong color. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the dark parts of these petals. And I'm going to add this darker color for a shadow. Where is this permanent carmine? Let's see. It's not a bad color. Let's see. Add some of this other red. Sometimes it's fun to do these paintings and just really kind of explore, do a painting and use all the reds that you have. Sometimes that's fun. Okay, I've got just some straight uh, white. The paint, of course, is kind of wet, but this is that paper that absorbs the watercolor really fast, so it's going to blend, but not as much as it would on other paper, which I'm going to try to use to my advantage so that I can get some highlights in here but I won't have to add a ton of water. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. I'm going to go in with the this color, this light green. It's called May Green. Actually, I'm going to go in with a flat brush with the May Green. It'll be a little easier. And 
just some, suggest some uh, lily pads. These, these are water lilies. We have a um, garden store not far here from the house um, that they specialize in water features and lily gardens. And I took a bunch of pictures last time we were there. And this is being inspired from one of those photos. I do have a bunch of slow stitching stuff on the table, so I'm trying to, when I rinse my brush off, not splatter watercolor paint everywhere. It was a little bit of a challenge. Okay, I like the way that looks. I'm not gonna touch that anymore because I love the way that looks. I'm gonna go in with a yellow, probably lemon yellow, because the center of these water lilies have these yellow stamens in them, yellow, yellow, you know, little fingers in the middle of the flower, so. We want to just suggest some of that. Uh, I'm going to, I think, go in with some Indian yellow, which is a little bit more on the warmer side, I think, for yellows. That's better. There we go. Quick and easy. I didn't even have to get the dryer out. And look at that. So that's a little quick little study of a water lily. I love it. All right, on to the next. How is that for today's painting? I hope you enjoyed the process. And um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are gonna get the talking version here on YouTube. You're just gonna get the speed food through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.